Good afternoon. Get ready for Addicted to Real Estate Radio. I'm Phil Falcone with my co-host Larry Steinhaus here on WWDB 860 AM every Thursday from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. If you want to ask us a question or you have a real estate need, give us a call, 267-988-2000. So let me start off by telling you who is addicted to real estate. Well, the first thing that we do that we love is we are real estate investors, full-time professional real estate investors. That's all we do. That's all we want to do. That's all we're ever going to do is addicted to real estate, investing in real estate. So we buy houses. And if you guys are out there and you have a piece of real estate that maybe we could work with you on it, give us a call, 267-988-2000. We also have a very unique real estate agency called Addicted to Real Estate Agency. And what we do is we bridge the gap between real estate investors and realtors. So many of our realtor friends out there get into the business because they want to be real estate investors. Then a funny thing happens. They sort of fall into the rut of working as a realtor and they forget all about the dreams of being a real estate investor. And we like to bridge the gap between the way you felt about real estate and the passion you had for real estate before you ever got your real estate license to the individual that you are today if you're working as a realtor and addicted to real estate can help you do that. How do we do that? Well, we've got three offices, one in Montgomeryville, one in Hepburn, and one in Huntington Valley. And if you just come into the office and hang around with your new buddies from Addicted to Real Estate, be careful because you might catch a little bit of what we got going on. We also do a lot of real estate investing education. We have meetings every month. Right now we're holding them in Warminster. I believe our next meeting is February 17th. I think that's a Wednesday night. We're going to be talking about how to use trust to hold your real estate. And if you don't know about trust, boy, you better come out to this meeting and learn all about it. And you can check us out at addictedtorealestate.com. That's addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. So how are you doing today, Larry? I'm doing great, Phil. Actually, you know, I love it when you say we're addicted to real estate. You know, last week I put five offers in on houses. That's really an addiction. There's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good week. That's a good week. That's, a, that, that, that's, that's an average week. How many of them uh, do you think you're going to get? Well, I'm really uh, there's two I'm really excited about, <coughs> but you know I want all five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, it's funny. It's just like you know you rolled the dice and you landed on five houses and no one else owned them, so why not buy them? I mean, that, obviously right. somebody owns them, but I'm referring to the game Monopoly. Yeah. I, I view a lot of what we do as basically playing Monopoly for a living. I find it hysterical that that was my favorite game when I was a kid. And I think it's your favorite game too, right, Phil? Yeah, I used, my mother used to play it with me all the time. To uh, She was definitely the, the, um, the business person in the family, and she was trying to instill an entrepreneurial business attitude in me, and it worked. Yeah, I just liked the game. I don't know what it was. I think it must have been all those uh, $500 bills in the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't see too many of them in real life. So uh, what kind of questions do we got coming in today? So we had some really good questions this week, and uh, the, the first one is, is a great one, and I'm looking forward to discussing this. What is the first thing I should do to be a real estate investor? And I will tell you, it's not get a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> the next one was, can your no money down strategies work on a home I live in? And the next one was, I was so insulted by this question that I almost didn't want to discuss it, but it was, are you guys for real? And yeah. you can understand why we were insulted. And by the way, you can email your questions to uh, phil at addictedtorealestate.com. And by the way, later on, we're going to be focusing on how to quit your job, move to paradise, and get rich investing in real estate. That's a great topic. Uh, I don't know. I'm not insulted by the are you guys for real. I think like uh, a lot of times when I go to seminars and other real estate investors are speaking, I'm wondering that myself. Are, are, are these guys for real? Do, do they really do this? Or do they just sell packages and uh, and figure out ways to separate me from my money? So, uh, you know, especially I love when someone asks me a question that I can easily uh, answer. So you 
we're going to prove to you that we're real. We'll get to that soon. All right, so uh, you're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. Hi, my name's Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is Addicted to Real Estate with the number two dot com. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, they pay 90% commission. Work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. Do you have a voicemail machine answering your business calls during the day? Oh, please tell me it's not true. I have an answering service for you that only costs $99 a month. We're real humans. That's right. We have live humans answering the phone in the name of your company and patching the calls to you for only $99 a month. And there are no contracts, so you can try it out anytime you like and cancel it whenever you like. Executech Suites, 215 942 I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms, you get the mailboxes, you get the printer, the copy, the scanner, you get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Welcome back. To Addicted to Real Estate Radio, I'm Larry Steinhaus, and we're going to talk about the questions that were emailed in this week. And the first question is, what is the first thing I should do to be a real estate investor? And I have to answer this question right away, and that's call me because I'm a real estate agent and I make a commission if I sell you real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so you can call me right away at our agency, and our agents, our agents actually uh, specialize in real estate investors. But, no, let's really talk about this seriously, though, Phil. What is the first thing that you did, actually, when you wanted to become a real estate investor? Well, before I talk about what I did, let me talk about – let me answer the question. What is the first thing I should do to be a real estate investor? It's a great question. I'll give you one word answer. Learn. Learn, baby, learn. That's really what you should do. Um, before you run out and just jump into the world of real estate investing, you, you need to learn a little bit about what you're about to embark on. It's an amazing business, a business that can pay you rewards for the rest of your life, a business that will allow you to earn what I like to call uh, monuments to my success. With a piece of real estate is many different things, and, and it's one thing, it's a house you can live in, and it's, a, and it's an investment that you can make money off of. But I think of each piece of real estate as a business to itself. And every single house, whether it's a, a $50,000 row home somewhere in Philadelphia or if it's a $2 million uh, beach house in Siesta Key, it really doesn't make any difference to me. It's a business that I am buying, and I must have some – uh, reason why I'm buying it, why I think I can do better than the previous owner, why I think I can make money off of this business. It's, it, think of it along the lines of uh, somebody is going to sell you a, uh, a business of uh, – it's a pizza shop, for example. What are you going to do? You're going to look at the expenses that the business has. You're going to look at the income that the business has. You're going to look at the time and the energy and the effort you're going to have to put into it. And you're going to make a decision about whether or not this is worth it. Well, the real estate business is no different than that. That's kind of the way I like to look at it. You know, it's funny. When I you – know, and I agree with you. You absolutely have to have an education. And you, have to, you should learn. You should read as much as you can, but you have to jump in and do it. 
you know, my story of my very first property that I bought, I, I went down, I saw the property. I remember it was 26000 I believe it was 20, listed for $26,000. It was a two-family house. Remember, I was 18 years old, so this is some time ago. So that would probably be the equivalent of about a $150,000 house now. Anyway, so I went down, and I put my offer in, and I had no idea how I was going to pay for this thing. I ended up uh, borrowing off of credit cards and getting a bank loan and doing all the things that you, you learn how to do. But it wasn't until a month later that I read this book called No Money Down by Robert Allen. I don't know if you guys remember that book. And I actually read about how I did it. So I, my actual answer to this is the first, thing you want to, the first thing you should do to be a real estate investor is decide you're going to be a real estate investor and start being a real estate investor. Start looking at properties. Start learning as much as you can while you're looking at the properties. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's a, most of the mistakes you make in real estate are not very expensive. And even if the ones that are expensive, it's like, it's like your education. I mean, how much did you pay for college? You paid $100,000 for college. And in real estate, maybe you lost $10,000 on your first deal. I never did. I don't know about you. But you lost $10,000 on your first deal. And then the next thing you know, you know, at least you learned. And now you, you take that and you go to the next one and you start making up that money. Well, uh, you know, the first thing that I did was I came out of the gates like a wild man. I made up my mind I was going to be a real estate investor. I bought an $80,000 duplex in Holmesburg. And then in 11 months later, I bought a... Um, $125,000 triplex in Tarsdale. And uh, so I bought like, um, you know, well over, uh, you know, about a quarter of a million dollars worth of real estate in my first 11 months in the business. That's so, great. Yeah, I was moving That's pretty great. quick, pretty quick. Yeah. Um, but I think it, if I could go back to that point, back to 1989, I'd tell myself to slow down a little bit and learn before I buy. So I could make better deals. I made good deals, but you can always make better ones. So, you know, that's that's what I would tell people. You got to learn. And how are you going to learn? You need to be around people who know this business, and and uh, your new buddies that are addicted to real estate can be those people. And it's a nice thing too that we you know we, we have these meetup groups that you can go to, and you can really learn a lot from us. And you know, I mean, you know, they're they're anywhere from you know a couple of dollars or, or, or free sometimes if you come to the meetings. But you go to uh, meetup.com. Actually, you can go to addictedtorealestate.com with the number two, and you could sign up and get emails for the next group. And you should absolutely show up because this, the education that we provide for free or, or for very little money is so worth it. It really is. So the next question is, can your no-money-down strategies work on a home I live in? I've done this. Have you? I've done this, yes. I've actually bought a very expensive home, and I actually I – actually, Bought it with absolutely no money. In fact, I actually bought it getting some money back. So it absolutely works. Yeah, I, I, I got a first loan from a bank. I got a second loan from a private investor. And I got a third loan from a, from a, you know, from a personal loan. And they all, I used it all to buy a property that was just a phenomenal property and a phenomenal price. It was a, it was a short sale that was priced so well that I couldn't pass it up. And it just happened to be a time where all my money was tied up in other deals. And I, you know, normally I would, I couldn't afford it, but because I was able to use these no money down strategies, I was actually able to buy the home and actually have some extra money at closing, which is kind of wild. Well, I would say that the uh, no money down strategies that we pride ourselves on, that we teach all of our students, that we do ourselves every day, that we share with anyone who's around us all the time, those strategies will work on any kind of real estate deal. They'll work on anything. You could go buy a boat and take over the loan the same way we do with a house. You you can use it to buy a pizza shop if you're buying a business. These strategies are, are basic nuts and bolts business strategies that you must know. And if you don't know them, you really need to hang around with us. So the question is, would it work on a home I live in? I think I think it absolutely would, and, I, and I'll tell you the reason why. I do see real estate investors that come to our meetings, and they're there for some of them are there for a long time, and they're not actually out there buying things, you know. <clears throat> they sort of, um, you know, they take their time about it, and maybe they don't have the confidence. Maybe they're not completely sure of what they're doing, and they're not asking the right questions. They're not asking for enough, enough help. But when it comes to the house that you live in, you're probably going to attack that deal with more passion than anything you've ever gone after. Uh, I'll give you a quick example. Uh, uh, 
a young man uh, is married and he's got two kids and he's a he's an acquaintance of mine. I wouldn't say like we're great friends, but we know each other. I see him at the gym a lot, and there's uh, he's he's married to somebody who's married to somebody else that I know. So I see him at parties a couple times a year. He recently contacted me. His house is he's sort of I wouldn't say he's upside down on it, but he would not be able to sell his house through tr- traditional means without bringing a check to settlement, without bringing a check to settlement. And so I, I talked to him about some of the options that he had, and uh, one of the things that I told him was, I said, you know, he, he needs a bigger house. This one's not going to suit his needs anymore, and he doesn't want to keep both of them. He's just not that kind of guy. He doesn't want to keep both of them. And uh, I typically don't think that this is a good investment property for me. So what I suggested to him is, why don't you come out to the meetings, learn how to do what we do, and use these strategies to buy your own home. If you don't want to be a real estate investor, that's fine. But what about if I could help you buy a house that maybe came with financing already when you wouldn't even need to put 20% down on your $300,000 house? Hey, Larry, if you got to put 20% down on a $300,000 house plus closing costs, how much money did I just save this you, guy? Well, you're probably close to 70000 total. Yeah, yeah. Let's assume he still has to pay closing costs. I could have potentially, my suggestion could save him 60000 At least, yeah. Okay, so his answer to me was he doesn't know if he's the right guy for that because he works a lot of hours. However, he suggested to me that his wife has expressed interest in real estate investing. And I said, well, if you think that she has a passion for it, then maybe she is the one who should come out to the meetings. Again, they both should come, really. But if she, if she just wants to come and, and she tackles it, hell, man, I'd, I'd love to be involved in that. I'd love to be the, the mentor or the catalyst that helps them buy a house and saves them $60,000. That would be amazing. So absolutely, I believe that our no-money-down strategies will work on a home you live in. Yeah, and, and absolutely. You know, I, I see this all the time. I talk to people all the time. that they, They're not buying a home because they think they can't afford it, and the reality is they absolutely can. So our, our next question is, are you guys for real? Ow! He pinched me, and it, I am real. He, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What do you, you know, I, I, I love this question. It's one of my favorite questions, and, and not, not this one, but the question that's attached to this, which is, well, why are you guys selling books and tapes if you're successful real estate investors? And, and, it, and it, it absolutely cracks me up because this is what people think. They think, well, if you're selling books and tapes, you must not really be a real estate investor. You just must be a, an, edu- an educator. Right. Well, uh, there's a couple of reasons. Here's how I would answer that question. First of all, are you guys for real? Uh, you know, if it was worth my time to do it with you, I'd have you come for a ride with me, and I'd take you around to a bunch of buildings that I own, and you could decide for yourself if I'm real or not, okay? Um, that that problem is pretty easy to solve. Go check out GoSiesta.com. That happens to just be a, a website with uh, some vacation rentals that I own in Florida, and uh, you can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. That's just a very small part of the portfolio that I'm involved with. Uh, to answer the question that you're bringing up, Larry, about why would you guys – sell books and sell products if you're making so much money in the real estate business. Well, one of the reasons is money is not the only motivating factor for us. And I believe that it's probably not the only motivating factor for most people who've reached a level of success. There comes a certain point in your life where, you know, you make a couple million bucks or whatever you make and you're and you, you want to do other things besides just make money. One of the things that I love to do so I love to teach people about real estate investing. It's just a passion that I have. And I came up with this idea to write the book and start having monthly meetings and put videos on YouTube. If you look up Addicted to Real Estate on YouTube, you can check out just some of the things that I do. I came up with the idea because people were calling me all the time during business hours or nighttime or weekends or whenever with no regard for my time and saying, hey, Phil, i got a couple of questions for you, which turned into a 40-minute thing. And I realize I can't do that. I just can't. I, during business hours and when I'm with my family, I have to take care of the important things like my kids, my family, and my own business. I decided to set aside one night a month. And at that one meeting a month, which has turned out to be a meeting, we started 7 o'clock. We talked till about 9, a little bit 
past nine. And then what we do is we go downstairs at a bar and we hang out for a couple more hours. So I set aside about four hours of my time per month to help anybody who wants it. And if you want to sit down next to me and have me analyze a deal you're looking at or anything that I could help you with, all you got to do is come to a meeting. Check out addictedtorealestate.com. Put your name and email address in there. Come to our meetings, and you will see we are the real deal. You know, it's funny. A lot of people pay $30,000 for a uh, for a, a mentorship program, and we're, uh, we're hanging out at the bar mentoring people for free. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually very generous, and I've had um, – there are gurus. Okay, you could say we're all gurus in real estate investing business. I've had the gurus to the guru say to me, Phil, you're giving away too much information. Sure. That's okay because you want to know why it's okay with me? Because I'm making plenty of money in the real estate investing business. I'm happy to share what I know with you. It won't be completely free, but if, uh, you know, what I sell books for $20. Who are going to get rich off of that one? By the way, I just got the proof for my new book. It's called How to Buy Houses with None of Your Own Money. And you definitely got to check that out. It's, uh, it should be up on Amazon in about a week. I just got the proof for the front cover of it. My original book is called Addicted to Real Estate. What a guess there, huh? You could have figured that one out. So, you know, that's kind of the way I feel about it. It's a, it's a great way to earn a living, and why not share there's one more reason why I like to help people about with real estate investing. You want to know what that is, Larry? I'm dying to know. My wife doesn't want to hear about it anymore. Okay? <laughs> I'm addicted to real estate. So, like, if I go out to dinner with my wife or a couple of drinks, we're together for five, six hours on a Saturday evening, I'm trying to talk about real estate the whole night. And the wife, uh, she doesn't dig that. You know, she, she she's in the real estate business herself, so she, she runs a huge part of our portfolio. And she doesn't really want to talk about it on a Saturday night. She's not quite as addicted as I am. So if you, my friends, come out to the meeting, you give me somebody to talk to about real estate. That's why I do it. And, of course, you can, you can, you can call any one of us at any time, and we certainly will talk to you. We'll direct you over to the meeting as well. But if you want to become a real estate agent and learn about, learn about easier ways to invest in real estate, give me a call, too, at 215-378-9190, and I will actually pay for your real estate license. That's a great deal, paying for the real estate license. I hope you people heard that. Only Addicted to Real Estate does that. You are listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is addictedtorealestate with the number two dot com. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, they pay 90% commission. Work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. Do you have a voicemail machine answering your business calls during the day? Oh, please tell me it's not true. I have an answering service for you that only costs $99 a month. We're real humans. That's right. We have live humans answering the phone in the name of your company and patching the calls to you for only $99 a month. And there are no contracts, so you can try it out anytime you like and cancel it whenever you like. Executech Suites, 215 942 I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home, sleeping on a couch. 
You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scanner. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701. 215-942-7701. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. You're here with Larry Sinus and Phil Falcone, and we are Addicted to Real Estate. So today's topic is how to quit your job, move to paradise, and get rich investing in real estate. And you probably noticed that it's just been the two of us here so far, and Jeremy's not with us. You know why Jeremy's not with us? Because he's in paradise right now, and let's let's uh, let's see if we can bring him on the air. Actually, hey, Jeremy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me, Larry? I, I can hear you. Sound great. Yeah. So you're yeah, so, out in paradise right now. Tell us where is uh, Snowmax? We're uh, we're in Aspen. I'm sitting on the uh, I'm sitting on the porch here, looking at the gondolas. Cause right by the room, I could throw a snowball and hit the people in the gondolas. It's really it's beautiful. Colorado mountain range, and of course, uh, just had the Broncos win the Super Bowl, so everybody in, in Denver here is really excited over that, and I think that excitement is going to last a while. You really got good timing. You know where to. You know where the yeah, hot really. spots are to go. What's up with that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going. Know, but, I'm know. going next week to the Caribbean. They got the Zika virus there. <laughs> I was look. <laughs> I, I, I was watching the TV back when they you know when they won the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, it just seemed really cloudy over that stadium. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in Colorado. but <laughs> Oh, is that a pot joke, I think? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Okay, well, today's big focus. Biz, big business here. <laughs> today's focus, we're going to talk about how to quit your job, move to paradise, and get rich in real estate investing. And since you happen to be in paradise, we thought we'd give you a call for this segment. So I want to talk a little bit about what this means to me. Um well, I haven't had a job for a long time, so it's hard for me to relate to that. Uh, I haven't had a job for probably about two decades. But I did have a job once a long time ago. And the funny part was I had made up my mind to be a real estate investor when I was 17 years old when I was graduating high school. So I went to college, and all through college, I was always thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. And... Uh, when I finally got into the business, I was only 23 years old in 1989. And, you know, the whole goal is always to quit your job, right? There's a lot of newbies that come to our meeting, and that's all they're thinking about. They, they hate their jobs or they've been doing their jobs for so long, and they want to get out and work for themselves. And real estate is certainly a business that can help you do that. It, um, you know, it, it, quitting your job, it, really, first thing you have to do is replace your income. So how do you do that? Well, you need to learn, just like we were talking about earlier. You need to buy books like Addicted to Real Estate. You need to come to meetings like the ones we have at Addicted to Real Estate. You need to listen to this radio show so you can learn about real estate investing, and hopefully you'll be in a situation where you can replace your income. What do you think about that, Jeremy? You know, I'm down with that. The uh, It's Part of the, the lifestyle of owning real estate is being able to go go visit it. And like the stuff we have down in Florida, you know, it's it's an amazing thing to be able to go to a nice place and uh, have that nice place make you money. So I, I can't imagine the people in Aspen here that own these condos, how much money they're making off of these things. Um, it's, you know, prime, primo real estate. Why don't you pick up one while you're out there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> a lot of zeros in that. Okay. Well, since no, when has uh, that ever stopped? It's all, it's all the people's money, exactly. What do you what do you, what do you what do you yeah. what, what, what do you mean? Yeah. Are you actually giving an obstacle? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't believe I've ever heard you offer one. So I'm in Is a real this... estate mastermind out here, and and there's guys from all over, from San Diego, from Florida, from uh, uh, California, from Hawaii, and all these guys are are you know live live in really nice places, most of them, or they invest in in nice places, and uh, you know they get together every year and. And talk real estate. So we're going to have a little seminar powwow every night and hit the slopes every day. So it's kind of one of the things that the real estate real estate can afford you is having that passive money, especially when uh, I get a, such a, a great uh, partner that's managing our rentals. How large of a group is it? We've got about 18 guys. Nice. And uh, I would say, and gals, and I would say probably uh, not this year, but two years ago when I came out here, about seven of the guys flew their own airplane. 
out out to Aspen. So pretty amazing group. All right. Well, next year we're going with you. That's it. Larry okay. and I are coming. Yeah, we'll do the show from there. That we'll actually the, wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll that'd be, right, kind of, that'd be can, a lot of fun. We can do it right from the porch Jeremy's sitting on. There's no uh, problem. Exactly. Right, right, right. <laughs> all right. So uh, when we talk about move to paradise, we're not kidding around. I mean, we're not kidding around at all. You know why I own properties in Siesta Key? Because it happens to be the most beautiful place that I want to be in. So why not buy investment properties in a place you want to be at and therefore you get to go to paradise. Now, if you're renting the properties out annually, meaning that somebody's going to live in them 12 months a year, it's hard to utilize the houses, especially because there's no furniture in them. But if you're in the vacation rental business, it's easy. Cleaner comes in and cleans up after the last tenant, and you slide right in with your family. So you get to use it. Now, that's not anything. We were just talking about this business isn't all about making money. It's about improving the quality of your life. Okay, I'm not making any money by going on vacation in my own houses, but however, I'm saving a heck of a lot of money. I get to go on vacation anytime I want, as many times a year as I want, and I get to go for free, minus my rental car and airfare. I'm not paying for housing, which usually is the most expensive thing on any vacation anyway is the cost of the shelter. So how do you quit your job? you got to learn. How do you move to paradise? you got to buy some vacation rentals. Uh, and then how do we get rich investing in real estate? <laughs> well, you get rich investing in real estate in so many ways. First of all, you have a monthly income because if you have a positive cash flow, and I, I do encourage positive cash flow, by the way. I think it's a, a great business model. So if you, have, <laughs> if you have a positive cash flow, you're making money on that. And, of course, there's appreciation and equity. And I separate the two because – Understand that even if you don't have appreciation, which really doesn't happen, there are times where you know uh, houses go slightly down in value, but they always come back. So, but even if you don't have appreciation, you have you're building equity on every mortgage payment. Uh, I mean, I know I have some mortgage payments that you know it's two, three hundred, four hundred dollars worth of equity every time I make the payment. And Jeremy, I remember you talking about a, a deal a couple of weeks ago that you have a hundred percent equity. On every single payment, which is which is amazing, just amazing to me. Every time I think about it, and that's how you make well, money. The other thing, yeah, yeah. The other thing is just just time. You know, I mean, time is what makes you rich in real estate. Is if you have payments that your tenants can afford, and those tenants can buy you your the houses that they're living in. They're buying the asset for you. It's unbelievable. And and you just wait. And as long as you have a positive cash flow, how long can you wait? As long as you want. <laughs> You know, yeah. and and uh, eventually that that thing's going to double in value and double in value, and, and pretty soon. I mean, I would often talk to people about, you know, they talk about all these uh, health savings plans and things like, or I'm sorry, uh, educational savings plans for the kids. Man, just buy a house, put a tenant in. Eighteen years later, college is paid for. As long as you got a tenant that's paying that mortgage payment, that thing will pay down in value. The pay, the mortgage payment will pay down. The I'm sorry, the mortgage will pay down, and the and the house will go up, and pretty soon you got college paid for. Yeah, we have a friend. I, I, I love this. I love what he says to us. He says he loves the fact that he's got hundreds of people going to work every day to pay our mortgages. <laughs> They're yeah. buying your house, you know. Absolutely. Have, I have a mentor down in uh, Florida that says that he 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 lives on the water. He looks over at a bridge, and he sees he sees all this traffic. And he doesn't have a job, so he doesn't have to be in that traffic. And he says, you know what? I'm fortunate because some of those people crossing that bridge, you know, all that traffic, are people that are going to work. <laughs> And what are they doing? They're spending a third of their time, a third of their working hours, paying for their housing. And that housing happens to belong to him. So they're paying down the house. And they're, you know, think about it. 33% of, their, of your, you know, income typically pays for housing. That's what they use to qualify you for mortgages, right? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Sure. Sure. Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are thinking about quitting their job moving to paradise and getting rich in real estate investing. And I and I run across those people every month because many of those kinds of people come to our real estate meetings. And some of them have expressed to me that, you know, the path that they've chosen in life uh, has provided for their families and given them an income and everything, but it kind of led them to a wall, uh, meaning that, you know, they feel as if they've kind of hit a dead end, there's no more upside for them. And and I always, of course, tell them about real estate investing because what I say to them is, 
all that I am and all that I would ever want to be is all about my real estate investing and, and the, the great way that it makes me feel about how I provided for myself and my family throughout my life. I mean, I'm 50 years old. I haven't had a job in a very long time. And at this point, there's not enough money that anybody could pay me that I would ever stop doing this. So it's not, it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm going to remain as a real estate investor for the rest of my life. And I'm going to live off of my properties for the rest of my life. And that's a wonderful path to have and to know that it's available for you. So if you feel like you're hitting a wall, maybe you should come out to one of our meetings and maybe the riches that you seek are waiting on the other side. And we could help you get to the top of that wall and look over and see what life is like on the other side. And it's all about attitude. If you really, really want to be a real estate investor, you can do it. You can actually – don't quit your job tomorrow, but come learn. And, you know, if you really do this and you do it right and you learn and you do all the things you're supposed to do and you have the right attitude, you're going to win at this game. There's no doubt. You know, I was just thinking, you just said don't quit your job tomorrow. You're right. This question is backwards. It should be the, – the focus is backwards. It should be get rich investing in real estate, move to paradise, and then quit your job. <laughs> That's the way we should do it. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because, you know, the first deal you'll probably make 200 bucks a month extra income, and then maybe the next one is a couple hundred dollars, and, and then all of a sudden you're buying triplexes and, and, and quadplexes, and you're starting to realize that, hey, this is actually working. And then, you know, like I've said before, you know, I have one house that pays my car payment. I have one house that pays my mortgage payment. I have one house that pays my, you know, my, my other bills, and another house that pays this bill, and that's how I actually na- nicknamed them my bills. Hey, Jeremy, make sure you send me some uh, pictures of the scenery that you're looking at from your front porch. I, I want to put them on the videos that I'm going to post this week with this, with this uh, radio show on it. Yeah, I sure will. Yeah, snow bunnies would help. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 uh, it's funny. It's Carnival in uh, Brazil right now. So everybody's off, and the people that don't want to be around for the carnival, what they do, think about this. When it's carnival in Brazil, what do you do? You leave and you rent your house out for lots of money. <laughs> so there's a ton of people speaking Portuguese all over Aspen, and um, they're all here probably because they're renting out their house. And uh, well, they have off, so maybe they're not renting out their house. But you know, think about you know the Super Bowl in San Francisco, or think about when the Pope came to Philadelphia. What do people do? They they move out and they rent the real estate. <laughs> hey Jeremy, how many real estate agents are over there? How many agents? In in our in our meeting, yeah. In, you know, in the mastermind, there's probably, geez, I would say over half of them have either have a real estate license or had a real estate license. I'm the youngest guy here. A, a lot of these guys are um, in their 60s, 70s. Even um, Jack Shea, who we had out to one of our meetings to speak about uh, 10, uh, 1031 exchanges and controlling real estate using your IRA and trust and whatnot. He's he's 80 years old and he's hitting the slopes still. So he's still hitting the slopes. Even at 80, really? even at 80 years old, he's <clears throat> he's skiing down the hills in Aspen. All right. Yeah. The reason I, the reason I brought that up is you know I I really think a great way you know again how to get started uh, you know is really get your real estate license. And in fact, you know I think we mentioned it before. We will pay for your real estate license. Give me a call two one five three seven eight nine one nine zero and I will pay for your real estate license and you will become addicted to real estate just like us. Yeah, you know, it just goes to show you. So over half of the, you're you're out there with this group of lifelong real estate gurus, who most of them made so half of them have made so much money that they can fly their own plane out to Aspen, and over half of them have their real estate license. So what more do you need to know? Does it make sense to get your real estate license if you're going to be a real estate investor? I think Jeremy just answered that. So uh, we have an educational event coming up. On February 17th, it's a Wednesday, it's going to be in Warminster at the Mike's York Street Bar and Grill. We rent out the second floor of Mike's place. It's a really easy place to find, even if you don't know Warminster. The biggest intersection in Warminster is York Road and Street Road, and Mike's is visible from any part of that intersection. You can't miss it. And the whole second floor is ours. And we're going to be talking about how to use trust to hold real estate. If you haven't learned this uh, strategy, this technique, then you really need to come out and understand why you want to learn it and why you want to hold real estate in trust. So 
That's going to be on February 17th. And we also take these radio shows. If you're driving down the street listening to us and maybe you only caught the, a small portion of it and you got to get out of the car or you missed the front section of it, you can always uh, sign up, at, put your name and email address in at addictedtorealestate.com. I'll make a video of our show, and I will email it to you each week. So whatever part you missed, you can just check it out. It's really cool. That's Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We are on the air live at WWDB, 860 AM, every Thursday afternoon from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Jeremy, are uh, you going to hang with us for the next segment? Yeah, I can do that. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to commercial for a couple of minutes, and we will be right back to talk to you, Jeremy. You are listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. Hi, my name's Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is Addicted to Real Estate with the number two dot com. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. Do you have a voicemail machine answering your business calls during the day? Oh, please tell me it's not true. I have an answering service for you that only costs $99 a month. We're real humans. That's right. We have live humans answering the phone in the name of your company and patching the calls to you for only $99 a month. And there are no contracts, so you can try it out anytime you like and cancel it whenever you like. Executech Suites, 215 942 I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms, you get the mailboxes, you get the printer, the copy, the scanner, you get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Welcome back. Addicted to Real Estate Radio. Uh, we're going to take a little time and we're going to talk about some of the common statements or you know objections that are often made by new real estate investors. Now, we often call our real estate investors who are new, we call them newbies. I'm sure other industries call people newbies as well, but I have really haven't seen it used as often as it's used in real estate investing. Newbies gets thrown around an awful lot, an awful lot. So the, some of the – I wrote down a list of some of the common objections that I hear that come out of the mouths of these newbies. And, uh, Larry, you want to run with the first one? <laughs> My favorite one is, I have no money. Yep. Yeah. That's... Well, if, if the only way that you know how to buy property or if the only way you think you can buy property – is by putting 20% down and buying a house through uh, you know, a conventional method, meaning that you use a realtor and you go to a bank. If you have no money, you're probably going to see that as a real objection. Is it a real objection, Larry? It is absolutely not a real objection. It's an obstacle, but it is not an objection. So <laughs> I've how, seen, many, how I've... many different ways do you, can you buy houses with none of your own money? Wow. Oh, uh... I could come up with several off the top of my head. Subject to is a great one. Uh, owner financing is a great one. Uh, equity partners is a great one. I remember I was 20 years old and I was working on an equity partner deal. And, you know, was, and, you know, just real quick, if you don't know what equity partner means, it basically says, hey, you get a partner who's got money, he puts the money down, and you pay the mortgage payment like you were paying rent, and when you sell the building, you split it in half. I mean, it's just it's just a great way to – and by the way, that's a great way that we talked about in the last segment. You know, can I use these strategies to own my own home? Of course, you can do an equity partner strategy and, and own your own home home with it as well. So, yeah, so there's there's so many ways you could borrow money from a friend. 
Yeah, we got We got to bring Jeremy money, in yeah. on this. Private money. You didn't talk about that one. Private money. I mean, that's a, that's a great way. You get a cash deal. You need cash. You go to somebody that has cash, wants to make a good return on their money, and you borrow private money. That's that's a great way to do it. It's funny you would mention that while you're out there with uh, 18 deca millionaires. <laughs> How much money did you raise? How much money and, did you raise? And and one of them actually went on six six hundred grand a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. So. One of the guys that you're skiing with, yes, did lend us a lot of money. And uh, so, Jeremy, you want to take the next uh, objection? Is I'll give you a couple of them. We got no experience, no time. Those are a couple that I hear a lot. You want to tackle one of those? Yeah. Well, no experience is uh, you know. Get experience. You, you can. There's several ways you can get experience with with our help, and that's you know, Phil's has you have the uh, we have the YouTube uh, web TV show. There's a ton of information there for free. You can come to our meetings, which is you know 20 bucks to come to a meeting. That's that's certainly cheap education. And um, there's you know we we have seminars that we do. We do workshops. I mean, there's plenty of ways to get information about getting started in the business. As far as no time goes, um, you know, time, you need, I would say you need some time, but, you know, there's ways that you can leverage other people's time. Let's say you have um, a great job and you can, you can um, qualify for loans or, or, or even if uh, you want to just use private money, you need somebody to find you deals. There's wholesalers out there that'll, that'll dig up the deals and sell them to you. You just got to find those wholesalers. There's, um, you know, you, you can use a real estate agent, addicted to real estate. I mean, we're an investor-friendly agency. So if you want to go to, you know, one of the big box real estate agencies, you could do that. But the people in our office are specifically trained to work with investors. So if you are if you have a, a day job and you want somebody to help you find houses that meet your criteria for investment, you need, you need people that, that know investment. And that's that's what we do at our brokerage, addicted to real estate. You know, I have to say something, and only the realtors or real estate agents out there are going to get this. You know, you guys are all complaining about the new TRID rules. Most of our deals are still on HUD-1s. And if you, if you guys are real estate agents and real estate uh, uh, realtors, you guys understood that. We're still doing HUD-1s because most of our money is private money. It doesn't go through these banks, and we don't have to go through all these crazy new rules that make the deals harder. We actually make the, the deals easier by finding you places to get private money. Yeah, if it's a cash deal or using private money or one of the other creative acquisition techniques that we use, yeah, you don't have to go through all the red tape that the uh, that the conventional lenders have to uh, put you through to uh, to get the closing. And it's 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 quite a it's unbelievable bureaucracy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I used to hear all the time. You used to you, you would sit in you know with the you know like as you said big box office. I used to work for one, and you'd have people talking about all the deals that they lost and the commission that they were counting on because they couldn't get the deal closed because the bank said no. And we have people who who they say yes all the time. If the deal is good, they're going to fund that deal. You know the other benefit of of you know if you're a real estate agent and hanging your license with our office or your investor going through our office. Uh, for, to find deals, we have an investor-friendly title company, an investor-friendly mortgage company that you know that we work with, investor-friendly insurance company. So all these things are people that you need people on your team that are that understand the business and understand what you're doing. You don't want to have to educate somebody else on the kind of deals you're doing. It's, it's nice to have, work with people that already know how these deals are done. So we give you the experience that you need, and we don't waste your time. I yeah. just wanted to go back to the two objections. What we also do is we we guide real estate investors to make sure that they're making great deals. So if you're buying your first investment property, you should be using an agent who hangs his license with Addicted to Real Estate because you'll have access to us. And you can always come into the office or ask the agent you're working with to give you a meeting with Larry or Jeremy or Phil, and we can help you out. So let's go to the next objection. I hear this one all the time. Well, if it was so easy, everybody be doing it. And, and and this one drives me crazy. This one kind of crawls. This one this one bothers me a little bit. Okay. Recently, I just had a guy say to me at a Christmas party. I was talking about real estate investing at a Christmas party, of course, because I'm addicted to real estate. And he said, "Oh, Phil, but you got all kinds of money, and you've been doing this forever, and blah 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 blah." I said, "Oh, do I have all kinds of money?" I didn't realize you were my accountant. How would you know how much money I have? Did I leave a bank statement out somewhere? I mean, 
people's perceptions, okay, are sometimes just ridiculous where they, they invent this creation in their mind about who you are and what you are and how you are. And, and they miss out on the most obvious thing, which is I will tell you how to buy houses with none of your own money, without any experience, with very little of your time, and show you that it actually is easy. Well, why would I tell you it's easy if it isn't? Why would I do that? Am I some kind of sick, twisted, uh, practical joker? No. I like, I'm passionate about this business. I like helping people. I want to help you. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting rich off of your $20 that you come to my meeting. Trust me. You know, it, it is an easy business. It's not as complicated as you, you, might, you might think it is. When you first get into it, you're going to hear a lot of big words, and some of them may, might be a little bit scary. But we're here to help you understand what they mean, and we'll guide you through the process. And, uh, you know, it's not a valid objection. Saying if it was so easy is not a valid objection. Anybody got a comment on that? Look, the reality, like any business, you have to work. I mean, if you if you just say, hey, I'm a real estate investor and don't look for properties and don't talk to sellers and don't learn your education, no, you're not going to succeed. So, so yeah, so it is easy if you put your mind to it and if you start to do the things you want to do. Whatever profession you're in now, it wasn't easy when you first learned that profession either. You had to actually work. You had to go to the office. You had to learn. You had to learn your skill. And then if you became an expert at your skill, you became an expert at your skill. It's no different than anything else. You know, people will go you know, to... Dedicating, dedicating a little bit of time just to, to the business is, is an important thing. Phil always jokes around because I hadn't had uh, cable TV in ni 19 years, uh, probably 20 years now. And, um, you know, one of the things people do is they come home and they sit on the couch and they watch some reality TV show. You know, create your own reality. Spend that time on education. Spend that time going to meetings and networking. Spend that time learning the business. And... Um, and you know, put it, put a little time into it. Even if you have a day job, you could you could take the time that you're spending in other places and say, would my time be better spent investing in something that's going to give me wealth and, and build a portfolio for me that's going to help me and my family? And uh, I think it's you know, every everything's a decision. If you're deciding to watch the TV, well, that's, you're allowed to make that decision. That's a decision you make, but it comes at the cost of how else could you be spending that time? You know, I recently did a survey in Philadelphia of the number of people I know that don't have cable, and the uh, answer was two, Jeremy Ricci and my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy now, easy now. Hey, look, but, you know, I'll tell you what, look at, look at YouTube. I mean, you want to learn something about any topic, you hop on YouTube. YouTube is my television, frankly. I, I want to learn how the, you know, any bit of real estate that I'm, you know, how do you deal with a tenant that does this? I don't know. I look it up, you know. How do you, fi how do you file uh, an appeal for uh, – how do you deal with an eviction where a tenant appeals? Look it up on YouTube. You know, there's all sorts of information out there. Yeah, you know, you know, everybody watches these reality shows on HGTV about, you know, house hunters and well, I don't know what the other ones – I don't know, fix or flop, whatever they are. And, and, you know, I challenge you, instead of spending the, the morning – watching a marathon of those shows, call me. I'll take you out. I'll show you five houses that are great real estate deals, and we'll talk about that. And, and as Jeremy said, that way you create your own reality TV show. All right, Jeremy. Hey, it was great talking to you. We're going to let you go. Go out to the slopes. Have a good time. Uh, raise a couple million bucks while you're at it. And uh, one more request. Uh, buy us a villa out there. Okay? Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> You're going to love the numbers out here. I don't know. i got to find what the rent rolls are. I'd imagine they have a lot of zeros. That's yeah, okay. Sure. We, we, we're interested in learning about it. Thanks for being on the show with us today, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what's neat about Jeremy's uh, vacation? One of my favorite things? It's tax deductible. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So let's take a, a couple minutes and talk about something that's really important to us. Uh, our slogan at our Addicted to Real Estate Agency is bridging the gap between investors and real estate agents. Larry, can you talk a little bit about how we do that and, and why someone needs to bridge the gap? Yeah, so, you're, so you may be a real, a real estate agent or you may be a real estate investor. And frankly, you really need to, to learn to do both together. If you are a real estate agent and you want to uh, and, and you want to you know, make the money that we're making, which is a lot more than we make selling real estate, 
then you need to learn education and you need to learn how to become a, 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 you know, a real estate agent. I'm sorry, a real estate investor, and we teach that. One of the things we also do is we've created a new system for real estate investors to capture leads. And I ask you to go to a website called easyoutrealestate.com slash addicted, and you will see actually one of the websites that, that, we have, that we are using to capture leads. If you decide you want one of these websites, believe it or not, we'll build it for you for $50. Take a look at the bottom, and you'll be able to see how to get one of these real estate websites for $50. And, I mean, for $50, you're going to learn how to – you're going to get leads like crazy, and you'll learn a lot more. Okay. Um, bridging the gap. You know, one more thing I want to comment on that is the fact that – the fact that um, – when you're – so many realtors got into the business because they wanted to be investors, but yet for some reason they didn't actually become investors. They became traditional realtors. And so many real estate investors seem to think that there's this you know, great wall of China that separates realtors from investors, meaning that the, that the two don't merge together. And that's why – we formed Addicted to Real Estate because bridging the gap, the two go together. All of us are both. We are real estate investors and we are realtors. And we, we bridge the gap to help other investors and other realtors learn the other side of the business, which works wonderfully together. So if you're interested in being a sponsor for our show or being a guest on it, give me a call at 267 988 2000 We'd love to talk to you about that. We uh, will be on the air next week, uh, WWDB, 860 AM, Thursdays at 3 o'clock. You can check us out there. One of the best ways to stay in touch with us, to get invitations to our meetings, and to also uh, see podcasts of our radio show, check out my TV show, and, and always be in the loop about what Addicted to Real Estate is doing is to put your name and email address in at addictedtorealestate.com. Hey, Phil, this is another awesome show, Phil. And I'll tell you, if you want to learn more about getting your real estate license for free, give me a call, 215-378-9190, and I will pay for your real estate license. Thanks for listening. To get somewhere these days, to say you know that's all right.